see what's going to work. I tried a diamond, none of the players liked it, they hated it, we sucked. So after a brilliant end of season run, and I mean brilliant for the top level in France, we scored the top 10 finish. Couldn't quite get up there to that top six. Ended up six points behind it, but still I'm delighted with that. Here is that run. So look at January. So from January, prior to January and December, my God. But from January, oh yes, only three defeats, loads of wins. We finished off with three on the spin, including beating Marseille and performance of the season was drawing away at PSG, all conquering PSG, who've just won the league for the 960th time in a row. Can't be complaining about a 10th place finish in our first season in the top flight in one of the big five leagues. So now what? These are the leagues that are open. So jobs are gonna be coming up probably in a month or so of time when these leagues become active. Do we end up in South America? Do we go to China? Do we go to the big leagues? Do we go back to Germany, to the Bundesliga? Italian Serie A? Do we go to the Premier League? Options. What about Holland? La Liga? Let's see. Random, huh? So we've ended up in Brazil. Now, technically, it's a step down. League-wise, but club-wise, it's exactly the same. Three and a half. But once I had a look at this club, a world famous stadium, so I'm just going to move my head. There it is. Look at that thing of beauty. The Maracanã. It is humongous. 78,838 capacity. I couldn't turn this down. This is going to be cool, man. As far as the club goes, they're in a bit of trouble. Have I told you who the club are yet? So it's Fluminense. Fluminense, I think that's right, but they're a huge Brazilian name. Now, history-wise, if you look at 2010, they were champions of Brazil, third place champions, but since 2014 is the highest they've placed, is sixth. Since then, it's been pretty, pretty barren, 13th. They even went down into the second division twice, got promoted, went back down, got back up, but 13th, 10th, 13th, 12th. Last season, 16th. They're in a bit of the mire. We've taken them over there. You can see the 13th. There's loads of shaded areas here. Not really sure what's going on. Flamengo are up top with Grameo. All the big boys up the top. So there's there's them. And there's one stage of playoffs there. There's another stage of playoffs here. And then relegation playoffs there. We take over in 13th. And they're just clinging on to this playoff. Move my head again. Here's the rules. So... First goes straight to the Copa Libertadores group stage, as does the top five, I think. And then you've got qualifying rounds from six to 13, preliminary rounds, qualifying rounds. So that's what we are currently in, a Copa Suda Americana preliminary round. It's like four competitions in one year. This is mental. But this is why I wanted to come here. Something completely different. I'm completely flabbergasted, dumbfounded by the rules of the they're safe, so God knows. But as you can see, we've taken over with 24 games gone. We haven't got a lot of time left in this season, so we're just going to do what we can in this season, and then we'll try next season to get them up as high as we can. They've got a big squad. They've got a big squad, so when you're getting halfway through the season or even at the back end of the season, it's about sussing it out like we have done in the past. It's pretty hard to do, to be honest. So I've had a quick look. There's not a lot of width in the team. There's not many great wide players, so it's kind of dictated the type of formation we're going with. So that's what we're going with. Now, inspired by what I've been doing over on Twitch with Palmer, go and check that out, but we're going to give underlaps a go. So in the team instructions, we've got underlap left, underlap right. So basically, what that means is when the boys out wide, the two attacking fullbacks there, when they get the ball, they're going to look to play inside for these boys running onto it, in theory. It's working well for Palmer. I'm going to see if I can get it going for Brazil. Obviously, the bear formation for Palmer is a lot different to this one but we're going to try starters for a diamond you'll probably come back to me at the end of the season it'll be completely different because it hasn't worked but we're going to try it because I like to go to every club and try a different formation with every club 
that's the run they've been on. You can see they're on a, lot, a really bad run here. I think they've got three wins in the last 15 or maybe even 20. So you can see why the last boy got, got the sack. And we've ended up rocking into Brazil. So that's how many games we've got left. Not too many. 10, 12, 15, something like that. We're going to see what damage we can do in Brazil. First off, sorry about the crowd noise. I've still got it on. But we've started the next season now. We'll get to what happened last season in a little minute. But half time, 7 0. The game's playing while I'm talking here, and we are 7 0 up at half time. Going well, you say? Well, you need to calm down a bit because when we get into this save, you'll see how mental the Brazilian system is. When you start the season, there's about four different competitions you start with straight away. There's the league, which we haven't even started yet. There's the Brazil Cup, and then there's whatever this is that we're playing. I'm not 100% sure yet. But hey, this is why we came to Brazil, to experience something new, to learn something new. This Journeyman series is just that. It's taken us all over the world, and we're learning different competitions, and this is basically what's happened in Brazil. I've no idea what's going on. Right, so check it out. This is the start of the season. So there's the friendly at the top, and then there's this. The Rio State second stage turn one. It sounds more like a racing track than a competition, but I think it's a competition. And halfway down, we play the Brazilian Cup first round. So you notice we're pretty much battering a lot of these teams. There's four nils, eight nils. I don't think these teams are very good. The one team that were good, the best team in Brazil, recently battered us three nil. So who knows what's gonna happen? But look at this little thing of beauty. So we started with that diamond, didn't we? At the back end of last season, didn't really work. Pretty rubbish end to the season. We took over about there. Experimenting, experimenting, didn't work. So it's good to experiment when you've got nothing on the line. Why not? Let's see what they're capable of, but diamond didn't work. So I decided on this. It's expansive, it's ugly looking, but it's a thing of beauty. We've only been playing it a little while and we're smashing in the goals. Against good teams, it might be a bit interesting. We might get a bit exposed, but for now, we're going with this. So Fluminense, if that's how you say it, where are we going to finish? But the media think we're going to finish in and around 11th. Now, if we finish in and around 11th, we're finishing one of these playoff zones. So then again, we'll find something new. What is going on in this Brazilian league? I have no idea. One thing is clear is I think that means you're champions the rest. So my takeaway from this episode is, is to experiment when you take over a team halfway through the season. See what's going to work. I tried a diamond. None of the players liked it. They hated it. We sucked. In fact, my club record here took a bit of a pound in there, you can see. Played 20, won 8, drawn 3, lost 9. So my win percentage went right down. We're getting it back up now, thanks to this little bad boy of a run. But the Rio State Stage Turn 1 Grand Prix Mega Bad Boy Baby Year competition can't last too much longer. I'm going to have to start playing real teams down here. Now goals for the season, I'm not too sure. I'm just going to see what we can do. Now if you look in the top corner there, it's the 15th of February. A little bit different this, isn't it? We're starting the season, but it's only the 15th of February. So all the other leagues are up and running. If you look here under the job centre, you can see some jobs are starting to come up. Down here we've got the IB for job. We've got things like Lorient in League, League 1, Greek Super League, Udinese has came up. All of these are kind of tempting. So I'm going to take it a little bit further with Brazilian league, see where we go, but if we get a job offer. So crew, we're in Brazil, we've started, I don't know what's going on, here's the schedule. You can see that there, we're playing the Rio State Stage Turn 1, we've got the Rio Stage Turn 2 Group A coming up, and then we'll finally get into the league games in April. So these are like a really extended weird pre-season I guess, and we'll get into that. I'll play through the season, halfway maybe, then we'll come back and we'll see where we're at. But crew, we're in Brazil, the journeyman rolls on. Where will we be when you come back to us?